Hello, I'm Intrusive, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron for As Vichy France, Fascist France. Good times. Okay, so, uh, last time, the United States joined the war on the side of the Allies. And actually started an invasion in the north of Spain, uh, which Spain doesn't seem to be dealing with. Spain, of course, being nationalist Spain and being on our side. Uh, they're just sitting there, chilling, as you do. Come on, Spain, get your crap together. Uh, right. We need to sort you out. So I'm going to cancel boosting the popularity of... Yeah, this is... Select an ideology... No, I don't want to. A little bit of, a, I guess, misleading UI. Uh, and then I'm going to stage a coup. So I want... I could support the communists. Uh, no, I'm going to support the fascists. But I'm going to wait because I desperately, desperately, desperately need my political power to be able to get more manpower right now. I can't. Meanwhile, the Soviet front is going okay. I mean, nothing really to write home about. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly delete your orders. Front line. And I'm just going to tell you to push forwards like that. Just a general all-out push. And for you, um, you're on the Middle East. You shouldn't be on the Middle East. You should be on Central Europe. There we go. And I'm going to tell you to just general push. Now, the reason I'm just doing general push right now is because Soviet Union are probably fairly close to giving in. They do have 70% national unity right now. Uh, that does tend to actually go down over the course of the game. Because they tend to get like events like Hitler, not Hitler, Stalin. Sorry, getting all these dictators confused. Uh, Stalin killing off like loads of generals and stuff because he's paranoid. And that causes national unity to drop. I think that one does at least. Um, but basically, he's got 70% units, but I'm hoping it'll drop, but they aren't far away from giving in. We do have a lot of the territory. We have Moscow. If you look at these, these are like the states over here, and you might be like, well, there's loads of Soviet Union left. Yeah, that's a state. That's a state. That's a state. And they have zero slots, because Siberia. Seven, three. And then we get over here, and you start to get twelves, and tens, and sevens, and, of course, Moscow, which... Where is Moscow? There we go. Twenty-one. Uh, so, the idea being that since this is a much more valuable area, it's not, like, proportionate. They should hopefully make them, like, give in and collapse. The other choice is that we could go for Afghanistan. Very tempting. If we go for Afghanistan, I'm hoping they would join the communists, but I'm not certain, especially with the communists being kind of losing right now. Uh, we should be able to push in, get another front in the Soviet Union, and win. I'd also like to take on uh, Iran. But, I don't know. I mean, it'd be great for getting oil from, but at the same time, I am not sure if they really would be a good ally. They might join the Allies if we attack them, and if they join the Allies, then they might get support from people like the USA, and that could make my life a lot more difficult. So for now, I'm not going to bother, although it's tempting. Afghanistan, on the other hand, yeah. I could go for a good bit of Afghanistan. Give me a second front up here. We could go around the core course. We could go up here. Yeah, let's do it. So, you, I would like to have a front line there. And we'll put an offensive line there. And then you, front line there, and offensive line. I'll just tell them to do it. And then we'll start fabricating our claim. Now you might be like, oh, just fine. Doesn't that cost you like loads and loads and loads of political power? Not when world tension is so high. And it won't also take very long at all. <laughs> Too political power. Yeah. Let's start on just fine. Meanwhile, in Central Europe. Push. And now I'm also going to be careful that... Uh, the Americans don't do a landing in France, because they do tend to like doing that, and I, well, don't tend to like them doing that. Pretty self-evidently. I've added two more tanks to our unit up here, well, our, our army group, because I kind of want them well defended. Uh, also, we do need to start suppressing rebels. If we open up the rebel map mode, you can see that we have got people destroying stuff here, 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 
here, here, um, little bit here. And that is something we're going to have to deal with because right now we're doing a lot of like building of uh, like stuff we're repairing. If we have a quick look in production, uh, construction, you see all this is repairing because partly because war destroyed it, but mostly because it's getting sabotaged. So we need to make sure that we are at least, you know, covering the areas, people are doing their jobs, and that hopefully they aren't destroying stuff, because that tends to be bad. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Yep. So, I don't like that. Um, where are you? Over here. You're covering my ports, not exactly covering that area. Also the whole of Turkey. Ugh, so much to cover. Um, you can garrison... This bit. Yeah, since we have got uh, Luxembourg, uh, Belgium, and Switzerland all sort of complaining. And I will add you back to... What group is this in? French Theatre. If you're sitting around, you might as well be useful. Three British convoys. How much oil do we need? I know it's oil. Yeah, it's oil. Still need more. Italy. Yay, now I've got surplus. Right. Meanwhile, German Reich is just fighting against... Oh, for God's sake, Germany, don't do it. Speaking against Afghanistan. Excellent. Uh, come on, don't... Don't just fight against Finland. I'll make you do the war all by yourself if you do. I won't. I won't have a part of that. American. By the way, every time we take an American convoy down, it's very likely that they're just troops. It's very likely these are troop transports, not materials. They've probably got most of the materials they need over there already. So every transport we take down is probably troops being uh, transported. Almost in position. And there we go, that's our justification. Please destroy them. Okay. War. Please join Comaturn. And let's see. Nope, they went allies. God damn it. I mean, someone need to leave someone there to protect you. Because Soviets are going to be over fairly soon. Allies is going to take a lot longer. We need to beat America. Forty-nine percent fascist. 51% democratic. I was worrying because of the embargo. What are you doing? Embargo Japan. Okay. Uh, I was worrying because of the um, election, but the election is actually 1944 because they could get elected to be fascist and then they would still be on the Allies side because that doesn't change anything. Sadly. Actually, that said, they might have a referendum if they've got such a high amount of fascism. That would be bad. You'd think the referendum would be like, actually, we've chosen the wrong side. Nope. It just changes them to be fascist. They'd still support the Allies. Afghanistan is collapsing, which is nice. Oh, we lost two subs. Damn it. Oh, hello. Look like American subs there for a minute. I think that was troops getting killed. Don't worry, they're Japanese troops that got lent to me. They're not mine. Okay, if you won't, like, leave, you're going to attack that person. You might as well take a boat. Yeah, I've got a lot of resistance to occupation. Don't worry, I'll deal with it when the time comes. Air missions, uh, fighters. Um, do the Benelux region, why not? Wow, you really can't cover the area. Uh, yeah, we'll move you over. Okay, what's this? Insufficient resources. Of course it's oil. What else would it be? Uh, Joan Wright, can you give me some oil? Okay, and we've got three military factories. Let's have a look at our military factories then. So right now, we do need more weapons. We need more tanks. In fact, we need 
Uh, kind of a lot more tanks. We need more gear. Carry naval bombers, naval bombers. In fact, I want a lot more naval bombers because then I can start spamming the English Channel and then that will give me the opportunity to take down all of the enemies. Mechanized, I need more of them. Oh god, there's so many things I need to do. And so many of my factories are broken, which is sadly flip side of ignoring that so far. Uh, we are working on military police. And military police give us what? Plus 20% suppression value. Only plus 20%? Is that really worth it? Let's have a look. Uh, do you have a suppression? 12. 9. Okay, what about you? No suppression for tanks. You'd think tanks would suppress people. Paratroopers. 5. Wow. Ten for the mechanized division. Eight for the cavalry division. Twelve for alpine. Uh, I really wish you could just hit new division rather than having to copy every time. Uh, let's go to the alpine division. Uh, where are you? Where are you? There we go. Duplicate. And let's say we just, like, removed everyone. It, it costs to remove, I know. Okay, so a large part of the suppression is just sheer numbers. Yeah, each of these generates one suppression. Okay, in which case... Why would I really want military police, right? Okay, military police give me plus 20% suppression. But it means I need to have units that are dedicated to military police because uh, I'm not using slots for other important things. Like, I would have maybe a reserve army, in inverted commas, who would have military police that could be also used for fighting. I don't see the point because I could just use other troops who could also fight. They would be as good as it by like, all oh, 20%, but they could also fight better. And also, considering I'm getting given a lot of troops by my allies, I could just use those, because they're crappy, they're not designed like mine are for awesomeness, uh, to do the policing. Like, these ones over here, I've got given by Japan. You can be my police. Yeah, let's, let's actually not do any military police. I don't see the point in it. Get rid of you. And instead, can you get me... a year away on that. Marines. Yes. Yes. Sorry, I just don't see the point in military police. It's like, yeah, they do better at like military policing, but they do worse at fighting. Sure, if I want a permanent, dedicated, behind-the-scenes army, but I probably want to rotate them occasionally. Or, you know, bring people forward to enter the fray. I also get given a lot of troops by my allies, who just give me troops for some reason or other, who I can just, you know, tell to do stuff. There's our first heavy fighter. I'm definitely going to go up to heavy fighter 2, though. It takes me 30 days. And that allows to get coverage over most of England. That's going well. You finally got rid of the US troop. Well done, it didn't take you very much effort at all. Manpower's an issue. Yep, but we can finally change our manpower laws. Huzzah! We're gonna go to service by requirement. We should get what, like two million? 2.5 mil now. Slightly longer training time, slightly less factory production, I think. But we actually have manpower, which is amazing. Uh, what do we do? Killed three transports. Nice. What are we doing for actual recruitment right now? Recruiting armor. Recruiting paras. Recruiting marines. Mostly limited by training time. Recruiting infantry. Recruiting mechanized and motorized. Okay. We are making headway fairly fast. There are in isolated events like this where we're like getting a stalemate, but we're also pushing forwards like there and winning quite often. I'll be honest, I'm surprised Afghanistan's holding up so well. 
Prop string for that. Still just trying against Finland, are we? We'll set up resistance in a minute. Right. I have got this load of units over here. Technically, they are fairly naff. They're all um, colonial brigades and cavalry, which is designed to be used behind the lines. So you know what? Let's... You're the Africa. Let's rename Africa to Garrison. And this is just going to be Garrison units. Nothing more, nothing less. You're going to be completely non-fancy. Uh, I'm not going to use them in France yet. The reason is I'm still like taking my troops to France to start redistributing forces because we're going to have to start thinking about a fight against the United Kingdom. Ah, oh, you kicked the United States out. Good. Um, oh, hello. How did you get here? Oh, you must be subs. Yeah. And you can pass subs through the Gibraltar Straits. Um, I should probably let my destroyers go rampant in here now. Although I do know that the British still have some forces based off of uh, Malta and Cyprus. And it would be very hard for me to actually launch an invasion of those. That's why I'm waiting for Paris to be done. Which reminds me, I also need to build paratroop planes. Otherwise known as transport planes, for those of you who don't speak silly languages. Like mine. Because I don't speak English. I don't know what I meant there. You know, people who can actually word properly, right? People who can use the English language. They're called, you know, transport planes. Just transport planes. That's all they're called. Not... Ugh. Apparently, the language center of my brain is just not working. Anyway, where do I want you? I want you... Oof, over here? Holding, what, a rack? Yeah. Now, here's something annoying, right? I want to have a look at... Resistance. But if I click you, I can't see resistance anymore. I want to see resistance so I know where to put my damn troops. It's really frustrating. Uh, but yeah, I'll tell you to go there for the moment and then we'll... Oh, hello. No resistance here? Hmm, okay. Well, we don't need to uh, do that then. Ooh. Alright, what else? I think we have some issues down in South Africa. Oh god, yes we do. In fact, you might be better off in South Africa. Yeah, let's, let's actually just tell you to go down to South Africa, because that is a lot. Okay, I'm going to make guesses where the resistance was. Then flip back. Yeah, did it. Right. What about up here? That section there. Yeah, right. So that should cover that and suppress the descent. We currently do have a policy, by the way, on our manager occupied territories. So we've got occupation policy here. And you can go like super harsh, harshest, or you can be like gentle. In which case you get um, like a lot less resources out of the place, but you also get less resistance growth. I'm happy leading on gentle at the moment. We'll see what happens later on. Quite a lot here as well, but that should go once we get Comaturn on board and everything. Just need to win against Comaturn. Greece is capitulated. Out of Hitler's uh, announced that the cowardly Greek nation could no longer withstand the pressure. Well, well done, Jonarak. It didn't take you very long at all. Meanwhile, I'm finishing off Soviet Russia. Yes, that was me saying you suck. Uh, offensive line. There we go. Just keep pushing. I can't be far away now from capitulating. As soon as we got that conscription law, by the way, we've now, like, who would have an extra 300,000 people into our military? Three more powers needed. Still working on our marines. 
Not all of our ports are defended. There's a port there. Oh, yeah, just the one port. Although that does worry me still. We should not let any enemy get hold of a port. That would be very bad for us. And in terms of air power... It's got reasonable coverage. Three hundred fighters here, three hundred fighters there. Yeah, they're just going fairly even with their defenses. Okay, we're gonna to need to make sure we have enough fighters to, be able to give full and proper air coverage, especially now America's got into the war and can send its fighters over to England. I would not like them basing out of there. I mean, the United Kingdom in general, but particularly England, because it's a closer part to us. Hmm. Oh, at least we're making advances here. Soviet Union can't be far off capitulating. Meanwhile, stage a coup. Where would we like our coup to be? New York? Are a lot of fascists in New York? I mean, we all know that coups start in Florida, right? There are so many jokes about Florida. I know, I know. Maybe we should make our flu, uh, our, flu our, our coup start in Florida just because it is Canada. Canada. God damn it! Words! Am I even awake today? I don't even know. Right. I could start in Texas. So the advantage of Texas is it's a very large state. It has a lot of oil there, uh, which means that we'll start cutting off the United States oil supply. Might even have to import it. I mean, in theory, that'd be grand. Can we just go to the resource map mode? We can. Awesome. Uh, which one is it? Wow, that's a lot of oil. Oh, uh, no, we need to really get like Nevada and California and everything as well. Yeah, there's California. There's no oil in Nevada. Okay. Yeah, we couldn't really cut off the oil supply. Oh, well, Texas still seems a pretty decent choice. Sure. It'll take us like 400 days, right? So it'll take 0.5 daily to reach 200. And the following equipment we use to stage the coup. We need a lot of infantry equipment. Okay. Well, we're going to do that. And we're going to have to start production of more infantry equipment. Actually, it said infantry equipment. Did it mean infantry equipment 1 or 2 or whatever? I don't know. But presumably, I might need to start more infantry equipment. We just have to keep an eye on that. We actually have two units doing it at a rate of like 230 per day. So we'll see. But in about a year's time, you're gonna have a large coup. A big fascist coup with half the population supporting it. And at that point, we're gonna make our move. Which gives us a timetable. We need to kind of sort the UK out by then. Well, that's not really tough. What is this for a battle plan? It looked like you threw up all over a chalkboard. This is not a battle plan. This is a child scribbling in play class. No. This is not how you make battle plans, Germany. God damn it. This is why you need me in the war. Anyway, I've been at Eurasium. We are about to finish off the Soviet Union. I can't really see them holding on for very much longer. We just, we just look at this. We're constantly taking territory. This line is just an advancing wave. They're not even really putting up much of a fight. Once that's done, we can turn our efforts to... Well... The boring task of putting people in places and making them go, don't break my stuff, because then we'll execute you. Which, you know, can be fun. Uh, what else? Well, mostly just thinking about United Kingdom. I mean, I could get involved in the attack on Finland, but you know what? Screw it. Germany, you're going to get yourself into that problem. You can deal with it. Just don't let the territory be taken off be mine. Yeah. United Kingdom. This is when we start to make our move. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Please consider subscribing. And also... Because apparently uh, my outro seems to be getting cut off because I'm using uh, a different program now to record. I'm going to make sure you definitely get my ending. So remember to stay shiny. Wait for it. Wait for it. Shiny. Damn, I screwed that up. Balls. <laughs>